Good to see you, Redeemer. It's Friday, February 19th. I'm Pastor Miller. We had a father-son duo last Sunday in church, didn't we? Pastor Jonathan Zabel did the service with his son, Eric Zabel, and it was really heartening to see that. But not even nearly as heartening as it was to see the father-son duo on the Mount of Transfiguration in which God the Father spoke those words of affirmation on Jesus, here's my son in whom I'm well pleased. When you come to church this Sunday at Redeemer, you're going to see Pastor Eric Recker in the pulpit. He is our Wells Administrator on our Commission on Evangelism, and he's going to be giving us a word of encouragement on Let's Go Make Disciples, encouraging us to get the gospel to the corners of the world. Make sure you tune in for Bible class, too, because he'll be giving us some practical tips on how we can do that inside of our homes, in our communities, and even carry the mission of God in our congregation as well. There's a number of newsworthy items to keep on your radar. First of all, God's pouring out a lot of blessings to us at Redeemer. So many that we really want to bring you up to speed on some of the challenges, good challenges that God's placed in front of us in a specially scheduled open forum on Sunday, March 7th. Put it on your calendar and please, if you're in, in any way able to attend, it'd be a good meeting to attend. We plan on having a voters meeting perhaps the following Sunday on March 14th. If you haven't signed up for the uh, Lenten reading plans, they began on Ash Wednesday, but it's not too late to get a copy. Pick one up in church or email Lee Webster in the church office. And make sure you take a look at the news and notes email that comes to you this Sunday. There'll be a link there that gives you pictures of the slides of what our chapel interior re renovations might look like. There'll also be a link to a YouTube video in which you can see a specially designed rendering of what we hope to approve at that voters meeting on March 14th. I'm Pastor Miller. That's your Ministry Minute.